So we're just cruising down the street here. Hmm. I wonder what time it is. Say hi. 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 No. Hi. To the camera. This is this place has the worst elevators. Tell me what time it is. Kind of museum. Okay, so we're walking through this huge area, right? And only two of us discover that hey, nobody's over here. What's the reason why? Let's go find out. It's a cannon launching dragon. Holy smokes, a cannon launching dragon. And look, everybody's scared of it. <laughs> no, it's on my own. Is our first medical emergency? What's that? Call 999. 999. Yeah, do we need to call 999? Jurassic Park, I mean, Buckingham Palace. Uh -huh. Yeah, man, I'm mad. So we will go back to Buckingham Palace another day. We were en route to the Royal Mews. The Royal Mews are behind Buckingham Palace. They are a collection of equestrian stables. And since we are horse owners, of course, we're interested in seeing how the royal horses live their lives probably much better than we do. 
Eleanor is currently checking out the Christmas carriage that they pull out during the holiday season for parades, I guess, up and down their mall area. Want to see the tack room? This way. Looks like tack, right? Oh, yeah. The Duke of Daphne. What's your <laughs> what's your name? Are you the princess or duchess? I'm Ellen. Duchess of water. Melon. Water the Duchess of watermelon. <laughs> so Finn is the Duke of Daphne. The Duke of Daphne. Eleanor is the Duchess of Watermelon. <laughs> and this is the Duchess of Cherry Hill right here. Look at me, Duchess of Cherry Hill. This poor horse, let me tell you. These girls spent at least 20 to 25 minutes putting all this tack and bridles and special... Royal reins and halters and back stops and front stops, side stops, up stops, down stops, bits, stirrups, martingales, saddle pads, saddles, ankle bracelets. I don't know. The list kept going on and on. But they sure did enjoy themselves. <laughs> That's all that matters. Horse people, I swear. They had all the royal carriages here, too. The ones they used for coronations, weddings, uh, jubilees, all the fun stuff that they do over here in England that causes for them to do a parade down the mall. Here's some of them. Check them out. Alexandra state coach and there look there's the queen <laughs> yeah, that's the real queen right there and then finally without people the semi-state landing right, here's our new riding arena oh it's a dressage arena it's a dressage arena <laughs> They should have a problem with uh, weeds and depth of sand in that arena, huh? <laughs> Footing. I bet you even perfect little Monty could ride in there. No, it's a dressage arena, though. You can't really jump in there. I could ride in there. I could jump in there. Nine foot jumps. Belladonna and I, nine foot jumps. Nope. After the Muse, the Royal Muse, we worked our way over to the National Army Museum over in Chelsea. Let's go look at some army stuff. Oh. Uh. Are you having fun right now? Tell me how you feel there's right a, now. But there's a bus stop right there. I know, and that's where we... Oh, this wall was cool. See how the color runs from the color up top when it goes to individual strands. It's pretty cool. Press the plus. Squish the maggots. Mm. 
So this ended up being pretty entertaining, watching Finnegan put together a machine gun. He shoots them all the time while he plays video games, but I guess uh, real world hands-on is just a bit different. So he struggled a little bit, but uh, after some due diligence and some perseverance, he finally got it figured out and ended up nailing it. The Army Museum was really interesting. Every floor had its own section denoted to a certain timeline. Like this timeline we're in now, I believe, was like the Berlin Wall Cold War era. And then uh, it had, you know, earlier times and then times they were battling with us and times they were battling with other people. It, basically, it just covered their history from a long time ago until present day. I would definitely put this on your list if you're visiting London. It was uh, one of the outside ones that uh, I believe Vanessa found for us and uh, maybe Finnegan found it, but it was well worth the visit.